All right, something we have not covered in classes are snake arms, the Egyptian style arm undulation. It is an articulation of the joints in the arm and it follows a certain pattern. And you need to follow that pattern and alternate it on both sides in order to get it looking smooth. So this is not driven by the hands. Everybody sees the hands and they, oh, I'll just do this with my hands. This is how you do an arm undulation leading with your hands. Not, not so much. So I'm not trying to fly away. So it starts with the shoulder. So do a big shoulder roll to see what your range of motion. You can do both of them at the same time or do just one arm. And you want to get the whole circle. So coming, push forward, lift up, bring it back behind you and push down. That'll give you the furthest range of motion for your shoulder. I'm going to use a lot of this, especially this upper part when we do an arm undulation. So it's good to know how high up and how far back you can comfortably move your shoulder. So that's the first motion, is the shoulder. So shoulder pushes forward, elbow comes up. Now looking straight on, this looks like it's coming straight out of my side. My elbow is a little bit back from where my shoulder's pushed forward. I have to bring my shoulder back. That's where my arm ends up, but when I push it forward, through the way our joints are created, it pushes the elbow back. This is where you want the elbow, and you want to bend in your arm. You don't want it straight down here, you don't want to have it crunched up here, and you don't want your arm straight out to the side. Shoulder forward. Elbow is coming back and up. It comes up as high as the shoulder. And then it kind of stops. And it should stop about the time that the shoulder hits the apex. It gets to its highest point. So from here, and you can see where my wrist is. Then the wrist gets in on this. And it lifts up a little bit higher. It comes forward, up. And at this time, the shoulder is starting to drop down. The elbow drops with it. And the hand moves goodbye. The wrist comes down, the heel of your hand coming down, and then your shoulder goes back forward for another one. So you're coming down, and it starts all over again. So this is what it looks like from the side. Shoulder pushing forward, elbow coming up, shoulder starting to go back as the wrist is coming up. You can see my elbow in the middle of it dropping back. And then relaxing. You'll notice that my arms don't go all the way down, they don't go all the way up. I'm going to keep your arm in about, I don't know, 12 to 18 inches. So your hands pretty much sit out here in space and hang out in about this, this area. It's your shoulder and your elbow that do most of the movement. And it's like somebody's got a string tied around your wrist to lift your wrist and pull it up as the shoulder's coming back. So that's arm undulation on one side and do it on the other. So to get this, we have to move in opposition. So one starts, so it's shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand. And then as it's dropping back, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand. Repeat, left side's dropping, right side is rising. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand. Conveniently, you're moving the parts opposite on each side as you're saying them. So shoulders, elbow, one elbow's coming up, one elbow's going down. Wrist and the hand, one is going up, one is going down. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand. So, it is very tempting to go as fast as you can. And even if you know how to do these very, very well, and some of you do, and, and I can tell when you practiced and when you haven't, doing these fast rarely looks good. Arm undulations are generally slow. They are slow, they are sensuous, they are slinky. And this is a very basic arm undulation. I'm standing up very, very straight. My arms are out 
And this is more of a drill just to work on the strength because you'll really feel it here. You'll feel it in the back of your shoulders and up through your neck. And the slower you do these, the better your arm undulations will be. So I'll put on some really slow music and see how slow you can move. And you notice I kind of pace around a little bit. If you're unsure about what you're doing, feel free to stand still. I have found this very helpful as I'm drilling and doing some of these repetitive motions over to shift my weight, to walk around, to do other ordinary things. Because when you do dance, you're combining all of it together. So if you can only do arm inhalations when you're standing perfectly straight up and still, it's going to be a struggle to have to do a rock step with the arm inhalations. So stretch your arms after. Because you'll feel it right there on the top of your shoulder. Your arms up. Stretch back this way. And bring them down. And just remember, slow, very slow. If you don't think you're going slow enough, or you think you're going slow enough, slow down. Because you probably are. Set up your video camera or your phone. Videotape yourself to see how you're doing. 